You say you came to the church. How much was with you? Three thousand. Three thousand. Okay, how much is in your phone now? Twenty point two million. Greetings, dear viewers. Today we bring you an extraordinary and moving story that has left many people all over the internet. As a matter of fact, all over the world speechless. In a recent service, Apostle Solomon encountered a young boy whose life story is nothing short of heart-wrenching and miraculous. As the story unfolds, we learn that this boy arrived at church with only 3,000 naira to his name. His mother had come to church the previous Sunday, deeply distressed and crying out for divine help. Apostle Suleiman called the boy forward, asking about his mother's concerns. As the apostle listened to the boy's story, he was moved by the plight of the young man who came to the church with his life savings of just 3,000 naira. And what followed next was shocking and overwhelming. Please do not skip any part of this video. There are many important lessons to learn that will be valuable to your life. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video so that others can be blessed. Watch this powerful clip and we will be right back. Oh, yes. The, the woman that was crying last Sunday. Is that your boy? Come. What did your mother tell you? I spoke to her last Sunday. Did she tell you anything? I watched it, sir. Oh, oh, oh. You see, I watched it. You watched it? What I was saying, was it correct? Yes, sir. So you want me to pray with you now? Yes, sir. Can I pray with you? Yes, sir. Things are going to change. Amen. Your mother is so concerned. Your mother loves you so much. I was preaching when she was screaming. She was crying. Now, William, now, Stan is now he go Lagos. So, now he come, this man come tell her, say, go open shop for her. Make it the balance and small, small. If the balance finish, he go push shop. shop. You. Yes, sir. They make it the balance. Yes, sir, for Lagos. They make three months. The boy, when he learned our work, the black man and the collect the work for her to give the boy. And the Lord said something about Ghana. I was in Ghana before to play football. So, when I was playing football, I have someone that uh, picked me, promised to take me to Europe. But along the line, he stopped picking my calls. And I didn't hear from him again. So, I went into stylist i was doing pedicure medicure and massage barbing and they so were you are good me. in manicure manicure yes pedicure sir. yes sir barbing yes sir you are good at that and dread too and what i do lock i came back to Aochi on my way coming back i was robbed they took everything from me I went back and everything was done. I stayed in an AOG for one year and I moved back to Lagos. I was working and I was playing football at the same time. But things was not working well, so I moved to business. I'm doing business now, but my boss supposed to settle me and the goods that he promised to give me. He sent me to someone to, to learn the job in Sokoto. But the person that I'm learning the job with asked him not to give me the goods. But later on, he asked me to come back to Lagos. I was in Lagos throughout this week when... That Sunday when you called my mom, I was in Lagos. When I got to Lagos, I called him that I'm in Lagos. I was expecting that I'm supposed to stay in his house. But he told me that we'll see the next morning. And I did not prepare myself well before coming. So I have to lodge. I called someone. He sent me money. He, he has been the one helping me since all those times. So at that morning on Sunday, my phone rang. And it was my friend in Spain, football mate. He called me and said, I saw your mom in Apostle Suleiman's church. And he just turned the camera and I was watching the video. I saw everything. So after the service, I called my mom. She wanted to explain and I said, I saw everything. I've been praying about this. But I'll pray with you. There's no plan to help you. They're just tossing you to and fro. First of all, to handle 
whatever is fighting you, we're going to put an end to it. I'm going to support you. When you want God to do for you what you can do for yourself, do for somebody what they cannot do for themselves. So if you are watching now by television or online, you're saying, Papa, there's something I'm believing God for. It appears humanly impossible. Let's help this boy. If we can help him, God will help us. One of my daughters here is giving him 100,000. Give me your account. Let them put it on the screen. Somebody give you 20,000, yeah? Another lady is giving 20. Somebody is giving 50. Somebody is giving 50. Somebody is giving 20. Mama is giving you 500,000. This place is to change lives. I will give him 2 million. The boy has collapsed. Resurrect him. I want us to get him to 10 million. You came to church with how much? 3,000. Yeah. How much is in your account? Check it. You can't talk. <laughs> how much? You can't call, you can't call the money. Sweet. <laughs> Before evening, it will get to 20 million. You said you came to the church. How much was with you? Yeah. 3,000. 3,000. Okay, how much is in your phone now? 20.2 million 400 403 you are going to have 25 million this woman was the one that cried out in anything you do please remember your parents congratulations so you are a millionaire minus the money in this bag this one is not counted congratulations Dear friends, what an incredible testament to the power of God and the power of community. This young boy's life was transformed in a matter of minutes, showcasing the true essence of Christian charity and love. It's a reminder of Proverbs chapter 19 verse 17 which says, Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and he will reward them for what they have done. Let's reflect on this story. How often do we extend a helping hand to those in need? Do we remember to honor and support our parents, as the boy was reminded to do? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more inspiring life stories. Until we see in our next video, I remain Grace Daily Motivation, where the supernatural has become the normal. God bless you.